morning, all you wonderful, beautiful people of YouTube. How are you guys doing today? I, believe it or not, am still sick. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. Didn't think I was going to be sick this long. And I, I felt like I got over it. And then I went on the road and then it just, it came right back with a vengeance. So I'm not 100% yet back and the rest of the family isn't either. Also my buddy Miguel over at Always Evolved the Pythons is also sick. Also a shout out to Miguel for getting uh, sponsored on his channel. That is fantastic, man. I'm really stoked for you, bro. Uh, if you guys haven't gone over and congratulated Miguel already, go, go do that now. There's a link for his channel in the description. Speaking of Miguel, once I get better, I'm gonna shave this thing off right here. This is just laziness, that's all that is. And also a big shout out to my buddy Dave Kaufman, just hit 30,000 subscribers out here on YouTube. Great job, man. But what I really want to know, who, who, write down in the comments, are you sick or are you healthy? Either way, leave a comment. If you're sick, let us know and we can all wallow together in our own misery. If you're healthy, what are you doing with that health? Something good, I hope, something positive, something productive. Take that health and run with it. So today is find a home for your friend Friday. We'll talk about that in a little bit. First, let's go check in with the family, see how they're doing. It's bath time. Uh, let's see if we can do this in a G-rated style. Hey Noah. What? How you doing today? Good. You doing Me good? Too. Can we do what do you know? Uh, maybe. If yeah. you're lucky. I am lucky. Are you lucky? I'm lucky every day. Well, Noah. Spider. Right, well then. Spider. What Spider. do you know? I know. What about plants? That there are more than 100 species, species of plants. Really? More than 100? Yeah. I think there might be more than 1,000 even. Or more than maybe... Yeah. Or maybe I get more a than a million. Maybe. Maybe. Can That's I possible. Have a how, how, are you guys, how are you guys doing today? Good. Yeah? Yeah. My turn. Oh yeah? And then hey, my... Guys. What do you know? Um, squids. You know, what about I know? Let's try it one more time. What do you know? I know. Megalodons. Megalodons? Yeah. Didn't you do megalodons last time? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, what about uh, squids? No, what about... What about snakes? What about snakes? That they're poisonous and that they're poisonous? What are you talking about, you Ming Ma? She's talking about something. Rattlesnakes. No. no. Sea snakes. They're venomous, not poisonous, ding ding. They're venomous. And they can sting the sting. Ah! <laughs> Stop it. I didn't realize that it was bath time up here or that we're having cousin bath time. Uh, Momo. Momo and Moods! <laughs> Tay Tay! What's going on, my Tay Tay? How are you doing, my dear? Are you having a good day? It's a pajama all day kind of day. Pajama all day kind of day? <laughs> yeah. how's, the, how's the sickness going, Mommy? Slow. <laughs> It's been a very long, cold. 
cold that doesn't want to go away. But we also were traveling a little bit and wasn't sleeping like in my house, in my bed. So the last two nights I've got a really good night's sleep. I've gone to bed at like 9, 30 or 10 and uh, slept pretty good. So I'm on the mend. And you know, I have all my tips and tricks that I do, but they don't work if I'm not sleeping. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm starting to feel better. But it's been long. And I've heard from a lot of other people that uh, this cold is a lingering cold. <laughs> Will you stop a, interrupting? She's, she's overpowering you. You can't stop the moosh. You cannot stop the moosh. And she's had a little bit of a cold, but she's been a trooper, and I think one of her top teeth are poking through. What? So that could also contribute to the runny nose. Um, but yeah, some of the things I do when I get sick is I take a oil of oregano, I diffuse some essential oils in the house, uh, grapefruit seed extract, natural antibiotic. What else do we do? Some apple cider vinegar, bone broth, all that garlic, pretty much like roasted a little bit and then just like munch on garlic cloves. <laughs> So I did all that, maybe not as much as I should, but I wasn't sleeping good. Can you maybe can you maybe give us a cough so that, to really sell it? <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> I feel like... I've, I, I've got some phlegm in here. I feel like we don't we don't we're not selling this sick thing very well. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I probably will have to cough in a second, anyways. <laughs> yeah. <I> can... <laughs> Anyway, anyways, let's go. Let's go back downstairs where it's safe. Alrighty then. What is up with you guys? No, just kidding. What's up with me, guys? Snakes. I've been doing snake stuff this morning. I made new rack cards for these snakes that just came down into quarantine today. Well, these snakes. So a snake here at Triple B doesn't get its name officially until it's moved down out of quarantine into the main room, and then it gets rack cards made and gets its name officially ingrained on the card. Yeah, that one right there, we got a, uh, that's pronounced, that's pronounced Garke, by the way. And then we've got Buttons and Bimbo, the female clowns. Let's see them in real life. There's Garke right there. She was produced by my buddy over there at Always Evolving Pythons. And she is doing fantastic. She's a Cypress Mojave. And she is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. No other way to describe her than simply stunning. And I keep making her head jerk back. I'm sorry. And then we've got the two clowns. Bimbo and Buttons. And you may recognize these girls if you've been watching the channel for a while when they first got here for their unboxing. As I had mentioned, I really love a high pattern clown which Buttons here is exceptionally expressing here in, in this hand. She is looking fantastic. She is growing a little slower. I had to get her switched over to Frozen Thawed Rats, which the seller had uh, warned me that he was having trouble getting her from mice onto rats, but I successfully did it and she's now growing, but she's a little got, gotten a little slower start than Bimbo here. And Bimbo is not quite as high pattern, but Still a beautiful clown, nonetheless. Does have a good amount of pattern in there. Not as much as buttons, of course, but they're still beautiful. A couple of female clowns and uh, big plans for these girls in the future. So if you've been watching the channel for a long time, like back to last year, you may remember my buddy Josh coming by and dropping off a few of his snakes to stay with me for a while while he was on the road and whatnot. Well, Josh is moving to Colorado and getting off the road, but he's only able to take one snake with him. So, so he, he's able to take one, one of the ball pythons. I'm going to be keeping one of the boas, and then the third boa we're looking for a home for. So if you guys know of anybody or if you yourself would like to get this uh, snake, which I'm going to show you in just a minute, hit me up on email, leave a comment below, or hit, send me a private message on Instagram or Facebook. And we're asking $150 for the snake plus shipping. We want to make sure she goes to a good home, most importantly. So if you do want to get this snake, then please leave a comment down below or get a hold of me. And she's a female motley boa constrictor. 
named Monty. You don't have to keep the name if you don't want to, but that would be cool too. But again, the main point is we're looking for a good home for her. If you think you're that place, then go ahead and reach out to me. And uh, let's, let's take a look at her. This is Monty. What do you guys think? Pretty cool? Beautiful snake? You like her? I'm kind of sad that she's not going to stay here and that she's not going with Josh, but I, the plan was never for her to be here 100%, but we're in no rush to find a home for her, so we're not trying to like get her out the door right away. As soon as the right person comes along, then, well, you'll be the right person. Maybe it's you. This past weekend, we spread my uncle's ashes at sea, and I was going to ask my auntie if I could get some of the footage that I shot on my cell phone to share on Monday's vlog for Music Monday. So I don't think there's anything else pressing that I really wanted to talk to you guys about today. So kind of a short vlog today, I guess, depending on how long this edit ends up being. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys have yourselves a great weekend. Please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. So I totally forgot that we were having a turtle club meeting tonight. So I didn't bring you along to the whole meeting, but it was, it was, it was good, it was good. Um, the point I wanted to make about it is that I keep ordering pizza for the Turtle Club meetings and sodas along with it. And these are from the last couple. We're building up a stock of sodas here. If you guys are in San Luis Obispo County, you need to come down to the Turtle Club meeting so that we can give you our sodas, alright? We got too many. <laughs>